While we all may agree in principle that taking a day of rest is a good idea, many of us may not realize that it was actually initially God's idea. Today, Dr. James Merritt joins me to talk about Psalm 92, which talks to us about taking that day of rest. What can we learn from this? You know, I, I want to read something uh, that I found. I didn't know this, found it fascinating. It's about this whole Sabbath principle. This is even ingrained in the Constitution of our country, and I didn't even know it. Huh. But uh, in the Constitution, there's what is known as the pocket veto, and, and this is what, how it reads. If any bill shall not be returned by the president within 10 days, Sunday accepted. And then it goes on to tell how the veto works. Why did our founding fathers put in there Sunday accepted? Because mm -hmm. even the founders of our republic realized the principle of Sabbath rest. And I'll tell you another story that illustrates why it works. God said, one day out of seven, take a break. Everybody ought to have a break. Everybody stop and smell the roses, stop and drink the coffee. There's a great restaurant here in America called Chick-fil-A. I don't know if you have that in Canada or not. But, no, uh, we don't, you, you but we've heard of it. it. We've you heard of get it. it. Well, the founder uh, of that, Truett Cathy, was a personal friend of mine. And this is true to this day. You go to any mall in America and go to the food court, you'll find a Chick-fil-A. In every mall that they're in, Chick-fil-A makes more money in six days than any other fast food restaurant makes selling food in seven days. Mm -hmm. Now, accounting wise, it makes no sense. Spiritually, it makes perfect sense. The best wood chopper in the world knows a secret. You gotta stop every now and then and sharpen your ax. If you keep chopping and don't sharpen your ax, your productivity will go like this. But if every now and then you'll take a break and sharpen your ax, you'll chop far more wood than you could ever chop before. The same thing is true, and this is what this psalm is all about, Psalm 92. It's all about taking that Sabbath rest, and I'm telling you, it works for me. I take a day off every week. I tell young pastors to do that. I even take a month off out of every 12. I take the month of July off because there's nothing like taking that Sabbath rest. It works. Mm, it's so good, and it's kind of counterintuitive when you're busy because you just want to get it all done. But so much of what God says is opposite to what we think, but it works. And I can attest to this. I was in a floating village in Cambodia with stateless Vietnamese, extremely poor. And this, this guy became a Christian who was fishing for a living. He made a decision to stop fishing on the seventh day to, to take that day of rest to honor the Bible. Everyone thought he was crazy. And he caught more fish in the six days than he ever had in the seven days. He saw the blessing of it. If we could just get that into our heads, you know, you wrote a lot of the wisdom from the Psalms. There's so much to learn from them in your new book, 52 Weeks to the Psalms. It's a new year. We want to get people started right with this book. Yeah, and you know, you ought to take a mini Sabbath rest every day and read a part of this book. It will bless you. And for your gift to this ministry, we'll send you a copy. Thanks for making that available and partnering with us. And if you want to get your copy, 52 Weeks of the Bible, we would love to send it to you for your best ministry gift. That number is 1-800-265-3100. You can also get it online at crossroads.ca.